Hello, I'm the Pageant Nerd. Thanks for checking out the second part of my series, putting some of today's biggest international pageants head to head in the Big Six Showdown. In part one I looked, pageant by pageant, at which countries and continents have succeeded the most at each competition. Those being Miss Grand International, Miss Supranational, Miss Earth, Miss International, Miss Universe and Miss World. This second episode looks at the six all together, celebrating the most versatile countries, achieving sustained success across multiple pageants. Plus those country success rates when reaching the top two of a competition. Stick around for that, the differences are quite surprising. And because I came up with so much stuff for this series, I'm extending it to a third and final episode. In it, I'll suggest reasons why the success has varied for countries from pageant to pageant, even decade to decade, and summarise what each competition's differing selection criteria is. Before we get started, I just wanted to clarify why I chose a big six. It seems I ruffled a few feathers because I didn't go with the big four, which I do know is a well-known grouping in the pageant world. Heck, it even has its own Wikipedia entry. But the fact is, there are other groupings. There are the Alphas, as well as the Big Four. Missisology expanded its elite group to a Big Five. Global Beauties has five in its GB Grand Slam, replacing Miss Earth with Miss Grand International. There is clearly no consensus, and these groupings, after all, don't carry any official bearing by the competitions themselves, as they do in tennis or golf with their Grand Slam tournaments, for example. It's essentially an additional element, a fun one nonetheless, created by and for pageant fans, with the occasional media mention. In a nutshell, I respect everyone's decision to classify differently, as described here. One is no better than another, and as such, I've ended up following all six pageants to varying degrees, but hence why they're the subject of this series. For the record, I'm not trying to create a thing with the big six. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Okay, my beloved viewers, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Looking at the six pageants altogether, 65 different nations have shared the 241 titles awarded all time after the 2020 season was completed. Five nations are in double digits for combined wins across the Big Six. Venezuela streets ahead with 24 titles all up. I'm going to look at each of these five nations and their levels of success across the six pageants, starting with number five, India. And Miss World herself, Rita Faria, the medical student from Bombay. India. And the new Miss Universe 2000 is India. The Panda Chopra is Miss World 2000 live around the world from the dome. Please congratulate Miss India, the new Miss Earth 2010. Eight 
eight of India's 11 Big Six titles have been won in the Alphas, a joint record six at Miss World, two at Miss Universe, and the only country to have completed the Alpha Double, winning Miss World and Miss Universe in the same year on two occasions. One Miss Earth crown, and the only country thus far to win Miss Supranational twice. They've come close to the other two titles, with a first runner-up at Miss Grand International, and a trio of them at Miss International. While India has returned to form at Miss World and Miss Universe in recent years, the same can't be said for Miss International and Miss Earth. India hasn't placed at Miss Earth since its 2010 victory, and at Miss International since 2012, despite boasting three first runner-up and three second runner-up finishes in its history. Femina Miss India has, at one point or another, held the Indian franchise for all six pageants being discussed today, but they relinquished Miss Earth in 2014 and Miss International in 2015. Could this be a factor in the preparedness of their delegates? Leave your thoughts below. Miss Colombia, Miss Universe is Miss Puerto Rico. The first runner up is Greece. Miss Puerto Rico. The Caribbean nation of Puerto Rico is one spot ahead and one crown ahead of India in fourth place with 12 crowns. As I mentioned in part one, Puerto Rico is the only nation to have won all six titles and they certainly had a productive decade just gone, claiming its first Miss World in 41 years and first at Miss International in 27. Miss Universe was the only crown they didn't capture in that period. An impressive seven crowns at the Alphas, including five at Miss Universe. Although that's the crown, they're currently waiting the longest to recapture. Zuleika Rivera was the most recent Boricua Miss Universe, winning the 2006 crown in that iconic gown. Let's see if their recent flourish at Miss Universe leads to a sixth crown soon. Miss United States of America is Miss World 1990. First runner up is Miss Venezuela, Marina Mendoza. USA! Olivia Bravo is the winner. Miss Earth 2020! Miss Grand International 2020! The first of two nations with 16 crowns, the USA has been winning major pageants since their inception in the 1950s. 
Their first titles apart from Miss Universe came in the 1970s, and by the turn of the millennium, they'd compiled an even dozen, along with another country in this countdown. In the past 30 years, however, there have been only four more wins, two of those coming in the 2020 season. I've added an extra column for the USA, the only nation here that's opened an account in the 2020s. The USA is somewhat unlucky not to have more than 16 titles, given their unsurpassed total of 167 placements, and especially with the number of times they've finished first runner-up. More on that a little later. massively productive decade just gone for the Philippines, collecting an unbeaten nine crowns, including three alphas and eight in the big four. Equal second with the USA on 16 titles overall, the Philippines has had two distinct periods of success, as you can see here. With a 26-year gap between their third and fourth Miss International crowns, and an even bigger 42 years between their second and third Miss Universe titles, to demonstrate their incredible run of late, this is how the same five nations looked in 2012, Philippines with seven titles. In just eight years, they've more than doubled their tally. And yet, like every other nation covered today except Puerto Rico, the Philippines has yet to complete the set of six with two first runner-up finishes, their best results at Miss Grand International. Mendoza! Miss 
Miss Universe is Miss Venezuela again. What's most astonishing about Venezuela's 24 Big Six crowns is that 22 of them were won in the past four decades. And with the exception of Miss Grand International 2019, Venezuela has won all these titles on foreign soil. That's virtually no reliance on home ground advantage. Yes, a very strong sash in recent decades, but truly a testament to the hard work put in by the Miss Venezuela organization guided by impresario Osmel Sosa from 1981 until 2018. Not without its controversies, but Osmel can certainly be credited with much of Venezuela's success over that period, which included winning both Miss World and Miss Universe in 1981, and back-to-back -back titles at Miss Universe in 2008 and 2009. Very proud that he has worked so hard Pero estoy muy del trabajo del señor Sosa. Despite its 24 titles, Venezuela is yet to complete the set of six, as Puerto Rico has. But their first runner-up finish at Miss Supranational 2016 means that all five nations covered today have reached the top two of all six pageants. The big question remains, can the Miss Venezuela organization, now led by three former international queens, continue its unprecedented success from the past four decades? Or will the likes of the Philippines and Puerto Rico chip away at its lead? To illustrate how fortunes change over time, I've put together one of those bar chart race animations, covering the six crowns won and who's led the pack over the years. In a far cry from the present day, the European nations dominated early on when it was just Miss World and Miss Universe. The USA is naturally there too, and South America starts to make some noise, as does the Philippines when Miss International comes online. Homegrown success puts the USA and Great Britain in the lead in the 1970s, and then it was Venezuela that made its move, coming out of nowhere with wins at all three pageants to draw level with the USA on 12 wins apiece by the turn of the millennium. India also surges, with its stellar performances in the Alphas, Miss World especially. The newer pageants, Miss Earth, Supranational and Grand International, are born, with the Philippines making a resurgence and Puerto Rico consolidating its Miss Universe wins with the victories across all the big six. Mexico and South Africa make a late surge, but it's Venezuela well ahead in the race for titles. Will it stay that way? For the purists out there, here is the top five when it comes to big four wins. As an aside, it's somewhat surprising that Italy, a country known for its fashion, style and above all beautiful people, has not won any of these six titles. They're in fact one of four nations to have placed first runner-up at both Miss World and Miss Universe without winning either crown. And amazingly, three of the four, Aruba, Denmark and Korea, have also finished second at Miss International without taking a title. Talk about bad luck. Interesting how Korea's Miss World and Miss Universe results happened in the same year, 
1988, the same year they happened to host the Seoul Summer Olympics. It's a similar story with Denmark at Miss World and Miss International in 1986. Denmark didn't place at Miss Universe that year. And here's some trivia. Who represented Denmark at Miss Universe 1986? That would be Helena Christensen, whose exclusion didn't stop her from becoming a world famous supermodel. Staying on the subject of luck, I wanted to check out the top performing nations in terms of all their top two placements, not just victories. Here's a look at the top 15 based on victories alone at the six pageants. And this is how it looks with first runner-up finishes added. Clearly, some countries have a better strike rate than others. Starting from the top, it's interesting to see that both Venezuela and the USA with 40 placements each in the top two, with Venezuela's superior strike rate putting them way out in front. In terms of first runner-up finishes, Venezuela has six at Miss Universe, two at Miss World, five at Miss International, and one each at the other three. USA has a record nine first runner-up finishes at Miss Universe, five at Miss World, and seven at Miss International, among others. The Philippines and India have a better than 50% win rate when reaching the top two, but no other nation on this list has a better success rate than Puerto Rico. 14 top two results leading to 12 wins. Impressive. The other main call out is the trio of the United Kingdom, Brazil and Colombia. While each has tasted success at multiple pageants covered here, they've had considerably more first runner-up results than crowns. As I've covered in previous videos, both Brazil and Colombia have six first runner-up finishes at Miss Universe. Colombia has another four at Miss World and Brazil three at Miss International. For the United Kingdom and three of its nations, England, Wales and Scotland, there have been four first runners-up at Miss Universe, a record seven at Miss World and three at Miss International. So, what factors have come into play to lead to these results? That's the subject of the third and final part of this series, The Big Six Showdown, coming very soon. If you like this clip, please give it a good old thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell so you know when I release new content. This has been The Pageant Nerd. Stay safe and all the very best. I'll be back soon, but in the meantime, it's bye for now.